These may look like bees, but just like a strip club in Thailand, looks can be deceiving. Because one of them is actually a deadly predator disguised as a bee so it can murder them. Let's see if we can tell which is the imposter. Is it one, this happy fellow adorably pollinating a flower? Or is it two, this guy menacingly sitting and staring into the cold abyss? One, who's got some pollen stuck to his fur, Pfft, silly little guy. Or two, who's currently sucking the life out of this poor bee? Yeah, even though we can tell them apart pretty easily, this guy can't, and that's exactly what makes the bee killer robber fly such a deadly predator. Even though Among Us completely died as a trend, bees still play it every day. In real life, to the death. Now it's a pretty great idea to disguise yourself as your prey, get them nice and comfortable with you before just absolutely murking them. But I want to see just how effective it is and see if a human being can apply this strategy. However, before that experiment, let's learn a little more about these sneaky little bastards. Bee killers are a type of robber fly, a group of animals I previously covered on part one of this series. But today I'm not talking about how they're the most overpowered animal in the world. I'm talking about the sneaky strategies they use to catch their prey. Specifically aggressive mimicry, where an animal mimics its prey to make murdering a lot easier. Bee killers are the most common robber fly that uses this strategy and are found all throughout the US. One thing you may have picked up on is that even though this bee killer killed a honeybee, it isn't disguised as one and instead mimics an American bumblebee. That's because honeybees aren't native to the US and robber flies haven't had enough time to evolve to mimic them. So instead, this species mimics a kind, friendly neighbor of the honeybee to blend in with the crowd before it's murder in time. However, other species of bee killers are much bigger and do actually hunt the bumblebees that they mimic. But robber flies don't just mimic bumblebees. There's a nigh limitless number of species that mimic the various wasps in the country. And it's honestly uncanny how close the resemblance can be. There's robber flies that mimic yellow jackets, ones that mimic paper wasps so well that you can barely tell they're two different species. And even robber flies that mimic spider wasps like tarantula hawks. Robber flies have the best mimicry of any animal because not only does it allow them to sneak up on their prey, but since they specialize in hunting venomous stinging insects, predators like birds won't mess with them because they know to associate those colors with danger. So its aggressive mimicry is both an offense and a defense. I'm very glad we don't have to worry about ravenous predators camouflaging themselves as people. I mean, what a terrifying thought. You're just out with your friends and some new guy tags along and you know, he seems cool enough. You're all chit chatting. And then he just abducts Samantha and starts sucking out her bodily juices. What a horrific way to go. But even though people don't have to worry about being victims of aggressive mimicry, could we use it to fool our own prey? So as a man of science, I devised a foolproof experiment to test it myself. All right, so we have our prey item, a nice succulent dog, and the mission is to go over there, see how long it takes me disguised as a mean menacing human, and see if I can do it faster while wearing a completely accurate dog disguise. To get a baseline, I'm gonna time myself going for the kill without the costume, representing a non-camouflaged robber fly going after its prey. With my target in the strike zone, it was time to see how long it took to snatch that sucker up. Five seconds. Notice the second my hideous human appearance is spotted, she tries to dip. She tries to make a mad dash to escape. But using my incredible athleticism, she didn't stand a chance. This sheer terror is even seen on another test run where I went for more of an ambush attack. Note the distinct fear and horror this creature's face makes when I make contact. Now it's time to see if an appearance this dog is more familiar with will make capturing easier. All right, I have to put this out there now. I am not a furry. This is not a furry costume. This is a mascot costume. Very, very different. With my suit donned and my vision almost entirely compromised, it was time to see just how effective the bee killer robber fly strategy works. It was all too easy. In only four and a half seconds, I earned this creature's complete and total trust before immediately betraying it and rewarding her folly with the unforgiving embrace of death. All because of my disguise. 
science simply doesn't lie. The mimicry of robber flies is truly unmatched in the natural world, but the gigantic species that don't need mimicry are in a league of their own. Unfortunately, I was too busy catching rattlesnakes to make a trip this year to film the biggest robber fly in America. But mark my words, in 2023, I'm making it up to you guys and catching the most impressive insect predator in the country. I'll see you guys in part three.